So I'll go with uh, science since that's my favorite course. Uh, I've been learning about disease and how to make kind of drugs and whatnot, but in a more uh, scientific way to kind of help people. Right now we're learning more so on how to uh, help people with stem cells and what stem cells are. Tomorrow I should be set up to do a lab where I completely get rid of all the cells in an apple and only leave the protein structure. That's what's called a ghost organ. People donate their um, organs and then they get rid of all the cells and then only leave the protein structure. So you get a whole bunch of stem cells, culture them over that protein base, and then you get them, you can regulate what they grow into with chemicals and hormones so that you can make them into like a, a brand new heart for somebody. U.S. History right now we're doing a project on like historical figures and what their American dream was because that's what we talked about in the beginning of the year so that's what we're talking about at the end of the year too. I'm interested in architecture so they gave me like a famous architect person to kind of study and learn about and that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of learning like um, his education and like how he you know became a successful architecture. Who is it? It's uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. What I read about him was that he went to college for architecture, but the, the college that he went to, he didn't, they didn't have an architecture program, so he had to study for engineering. And then he left the college without a degree, and he still became like a really successful architect and like, like really popular and stuff. So. In uh, college, we just finished up carpentry. So the overall topic of the book was saving the environment and keeping it green and how construction leads to that and how a lot of things that we do to our homes impact that. So I got a certification from finishing that. I am in the second part of culinary, so this is the college level. So right now we're doing soups and sauces. Today we're doing a spicy lentil soup. And we've done a lot, we've done a lot of stocks. We've done a lot of, we've learned a lot of what the mother sauces are and then what that contributes to daughter sauces and so on and so forth. Can you tell me a little bit about the competition you guys went to? Went to MSU and we went to the School of Hospitality they have there. And um, we each competed in our separate categories. So there was gourmet savory, gourmet sweet, there was baking and knife skills. So a lot, of, a lot of the students from Welty and the big high school did place, so they did really good. Third period, I'm in biomedical science, so we're, um, we're purifying E. coli cells. And so we're, we've been like scraping, modifying, genetically modifying all of that to these E. coli cells. And then we've been incubating them, freezing them to purify the cells. And then what we're trying to do is get like a green um, fluorescent, like E. coli base liquid. And then we can modify it from there and have it be like a vaccine to fight E. coli and things like that. A mentor class, we're working on a mentor project and I'm doing a criminal forensics and psychology so that's really fun really just presentations about like why I like like uh, criminal psychology and like the justice behind it and the history and all that I've learned a lot about like fingerprint analyzation and I've learned a lot about uh, DNA and like autopsy reports like um, rigor mortis I've been learning a lot about things like how autopsies are performed like the things that you can test for during an autopsy things like that I'm learning a lot about that